love you. Safe travels. All right, so I, okay, I'll call you too. So this is our last day with Aja, probably for a full season. Mwah, love ya. Safe travels. Uh, we probably won't see her for another year, maybe a year and a half. We're not really sure. She's going to go one way. We're going probably the other way. The season, you know, 2004, uh, 2024 uh, will end, and then we may end up somewhere else. We're just not sure. We may not see Aj for... <laughs> Say it ain't so. Two seasons. Yeah, that'll be a well, first. Because it'll be if she goes that far, then it'll be coming back. It'll be time yeah. for summertime. We might head north. Right. All good things come to an end sometimes. And Jeff is going with Aja. Din is going with us. And Mike just left. He's heading out with us too. We are heading towards Wickenburg. Oh, let me help. <laughs> yeah, it will definitely be a different season this year. I'm used to. Uh, having fun all season long with Aja, dressing up, doing our event, doing the events in uh, Quartzsite and stuff. So it'll be different, but she's going to have an amazing trip. We're going to have a good time and uh, we'll always meet back up somewhere along the road. You're going to miss your auntie, aren't you? Huh? Huh. Pumpkin just loves Aja. You're going to miss auntie, huh? We'll see her again. We always see everybody again, maybe. All right, I didn't take you guys around this uh, campground. Uh, Jeff had reserved it for us. We reserved the first site um, that we were all in. Jeff was kind enough to do this one. Um, we're gonna go, I don't know the name of this actually, White. Do you know the name? Sorry about the noise guys, we're getting ready to head out. Do you remember the name of this campground, White Spurs? I think that's exactly what it okay, is. Okay, White Spurs, Spurs yeah. um, right outside of the little uh, town of Prescott down there. Yeah, okay. nice little campsite. Yeah, I was just telling them I didn't show them anything. Uh, two I, days goes by quick. When you go in, you have to check in at 2. That's yeah. as soon as you can do. And this time of year, at 5.30, it's dark and it's cold. So you really don't get much time for that day. And, and yesterday went oh, by so, so quick Oh, it's so cold too. up here too. Yeah. That's why everybody is kind of heading out yeah. and uh, getting out of the high elevation. It's just getting too cold. Can't sit out at night and, and enjoy yourself at a fire or anything. Not like so. like, <laughs> I know. All right, let's get on the road. Let's, let's do, do it. some little travel today. It's not a bad campground at all. Oh. The sites are pretty nice. They got pulled through right there. And they did shut and the water off November 1st, which oh, was yesterday. okay. But it is year-round, though. Yeah, I think part oh, of it is year-round. Oh, there's Mike. Year okay, open. there's Mike. I'll just come around the other way. Okay, there's our little, little posse. <laughs> it's right there. Bye, Jeff. See you now. Bye, Jeff. <laughs> All right, I'm so gonna miss these guys, but we'll we'll see them again down the road. That always happens. Out of travel. Yeah, some people go some places and others don't, and some go opposite way. It's just the way life rolls. You get very used to that out here. You see the burning that's going on up here? Oh, I can see the yeah. sky. Is yeah. that the uh, prescribed, prescribed yeah. burn? Ooh, I can smell it. Some big sites here. Nice, nice sites. So there's our courthouse down here. And then uh, downtown. Pretty cute little area. We'll have to come back. It's just too cold to be here during the day or during the evening time. But we're going to come back next season and check all this out. That park is beautiful over there. Really pretty sculptures bronze sculptures. Downtown just looks so fun. There's Whiskey Road down here that is really popular. We might actually be on Whiskey I think, Road. I think we are. These I are think all we saloons. are. Yeah. Okay, so these are all saloons. Very famous, very historical. Uh, we'll come back. We just uh, ran out of time because of the weather. Oh, we were going down. I didn't realize we were going to go 
drop a quarter mile up in elevation. All right, we have about an hour drive to our location. Really beautiful views down here. This is little granite mountain up there. It's a beautiful area. Look at that beautiful valley. Yeah. Absolutely. Ready to get to low elevation. Yeah, after two days of high elevations, it was enough. We gotta go down now. <laughs> no complaints. It was absolutely gorgeous here. Definitely coming back. I didn't even know they had mountains like that here. I didn't either. The roads remind me of Pennsylvania. The up and down part? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'd have to say Pennsylvania is probably prettier though because it's so green. Although these rock outcrops are really cool. <laughs> wow, look at all the bubbling rocks. I know, it's really super cool. I'm ready for a rock man to come up and stop moving around. <laughs> I think they do it at nighttime. Right, move around. <laughs> all right so it's basically just like this i believe just going all the way down getting off the big mountain we are bypassing an area that says no rigs over 40 feet we are 50 feet um some people said yeah it's doable Others were like, no, don't go that way. Go towards, what are we going, school, uh, school, school Valley? Yep. So, we're doing a little detour. But we're not going to do as many switchbacks, no. I guess. And we're just going to, I believe we're just going to stay one night at our location and we're going to head on. Well, we're coming into School Valley. I don't think there's really anything here to do. So, I think we're just going to keep cruising through. It's just a small town, I think. To be honest, I didn't really look it up. I didn't really uh, investigate any of the areas that we're going today because it was such short notice of what uh, what we were doing. Everybody woke up this morning, kind of decided at the last minute what they wanted to do. We're all going in different directions, kind of. Yeah. And Jeff needed to get on the road to get down to Texas and then uh, we just need to get into the warmer weather. <laughs> Some little houses, well, big houses. <laughs> Watch for children, welcome to School Valley. It's 25 through here, so must be a school or something right around the bend. Uh, I would think the whole town's built around. In 1,000 feet, you will arrive at your destination. Oh, no, keep going. <laughs> a little bridge. Uh, an old, looks like maybe, used, oh, there's a store. Some of these old towns are kind of cool to drive through, you know? People have been here a long time. and Museum somewhere. School Valley Station. Okay, a little restaurant maybe in there for ice cream or something. But I just had you have arrived. I just had deja vu for some reason. I, I felt like I came across this railroad already once. <laughs> I don't know why. Kind of looks familiar in a way. Oh, look at the old buggies. Oh. For sale. We could live out here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I enjoy my, my uh, rig. I enjoy traveling. in her bed. She just, when we slow down, she likes to do that. Come on. Come on, Mommy, move your... She didn't want to miss anything. No, she never wants to miss it. There you go. Miss that whole part. Head southeast on Kirkland Valley Road towards State Highway 89 North, then turn right onto State Highway 89 South. To Wickenburg. To Wickenburg! <laughs> 
We've never been to Wickenburg. I don't have any idea really what it is. Jeff said it's just another desert town. So I'm not, you know, I don't know. But we've never been, so it'll be fun to see it. Back in the big rocks. Those are some big rocks. I know. many 
curves we have. <laughs> I don't even think Scott and I are breathing. <laughs> could not see the road. It was that, it was that high of a mount, uh, steep of a uh, mountain. And all the way down, it was so scary. Um, Marcia called us when she got down. She said, you can make it, you can make it, but it's really scary. <laughs> yeah, that was a yeah. sketchy one. Yeah, it was really, really steep. I thought we were going back over there, but I don't think we are. Are we? No, we're going down. Down, Ooh. down, down. Oh, 
flat road right there. Yep, we're almost done. Woo, we're almost done, you guys. Man, that's a that's a white knuckle, hold your breath kind of thing. <laughs> Scotty did good though. <laughs> he said it didn't Definitely bother. Definitely dropped down in elevation. Yeah. Like, my ears are. Yeah. Bye bye, high elevation Woo! for six, seven, ten, twelve, eleven years. <laughs> I think we're just a little bit out of Wickenburg. Uh, get going to get hold of our friends Jim, and uh, we'll just camp with them for the night, and then plan something different tomorrow. We got down the hill. It's kind of funny when you come out of Prescott and you're heading south. There's these signs: no 40-foot rigs or whatever, which is a safe way. Obviously, we didn't go that way. That really wasn't bad, a bad hill at all. Um, but obviously, we have the disc, disc brakes on the truck and also our trailer has brakes. I would find that scare if you're hauling something behind you that has any weight and no brakes on that system. So I would not haul a tote without brakes. A, a tote? A tote. A toad? A toad? A toad? Yeah, a toad. I thought you call like it a tote? Well, because we you're call... toting it along. <laughs> we can call it a tote. I like I thought that. thought it was a tote. A toad's like ribbit, well, ribbit. I've always said, I think it's a toad. <laughs> uh, maybe they but call, I might it call it a toad because you see how now. a toad would be like that and another toad would jump on the back and another. <laughs> You've seen those I'm funny call looking it toads. A tote. A tote. <laughs> All right, we pulled over also. We've got to let her out, so she's got to go to the bathroom. Little trailer for Pumpkin. <laughs> That's cute. Oh, this was electric. There's so much cool stuff in there. Look at that bird up there on the mantle. Yeah. Wow. Interesting stuff in there. So pretty. Oh, wow. Let's see. I don't know if there's it. I haven't. Oh, cool. Look at that door. Wow. Beautiful. Five cent Pepsi Cola. <laughs> Five cents. Gold bond stamps. That's a nice old cactus. Look at that. There you go, babe. It There's... doesn't have any nasty little. Can things you stand up for it. to it? Up, stand up towards it so they can see. Look how big that is. Wow. It's got like claws on it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, claws. <laughs> like lobster claws. Ah. Oh, I don't know. Jen said she wonders uh, if this is for mining. Or I don't a chipper know. of a sort. What's the belt for? You put a log on here to go through, and this would grab it and see how this can go up and down. So it was an old chipper of branches. Oh. It turns and gets this big grinder spinning, and it's a, it's a chipper. Oh, so yeah. You would drag it somewhere, and then you would hook a, a system to it, right? And that's what it did. It make pulp or whatever. Oh, okay, yeah. What a neat little stop. Perfect. We didn't expect this. We just uh, pulled over to let Punky get out for a minute and uh, figure out where we were going. <laughs> How'd you like sit in that chair all day? <laughs> Well, what would this be, like a hay baler or something then? Possibly. Yeah. Those doors on the garage are really cool. This place is so cute. And this uh -huh. old trunks. Oh, yeah. It's so cute. There's really nothing that says it's a tourist attraction. <laughs> we just stopped to look. Yeah. Everywhere you look, there's something else. Have your Woody serviced here. <laughs> <laughs> wow. These old signs. I know. They all forged. This is, I think this is maybe from a Cadillac or something. Oh. Not sure. I've never seen that. I love the old signs. Yeah. They've got cameras 
Oh yeah. What's this? Uh, something baseball. Can't hardly see it. <laughs> It used to be sometimes they would have how much the uh, gas was at the time that, uh, well, that says seven cents. <laughs> and I have, Scott might know what this is. Whoa, I don't know what that is. Maybe you guys know what this is. Like water or something or oil or. I think it was oil. That's really pretty. It's got the heart. <laughs> well, obviously still working all right all right well are we ready to get back on the road or do we want to go down further here or? <laughs> i know i love it when we pull over and there's something there they're working on that stuff down there so they must be going to open up this area this is this is neat this will be really cute when they get it all finished, I think. It looks like they've got some saws down there that they're working on stuff. I know these doors are... Whoever is doing the artwork is amazing. Look at that. Now that's... Look at the detail, you guys. You know what this was? What? Putting out fires. Putting out fires. Oh yeah. Oh fire fire yeah, truck. I, I guess you'd put the water in there and I mean it had a pump. Because if you were just filling somebody's tank, you wouldn't need oh, a pump. Oh it's in but... there, I didn't see that. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful stuff. Yeah, I love the tin on the uh, walls here and the oh look at the old snow uh, sleds. Boy, my grandmother had one of those. <laughs> and the washboards. There's, a, there's people back there. The vans are rocking, don't come a knocking. <laughs> really, really nice. I just found a one of a kind. <laughs> it's called a tire drum. A tire drum. Yep, that might be what they're for. <laughs> We're gonna get going here. What a fun little spot. I hope that they open this up like to the, you know, like advertise it. I think people would come. It's just, it's neat to walk around. All right, that is a super fun little place. There are people that live there um, and they're working on the area. Yeah, look at how they ripped the railroad track. I up. see I mean, that. They ripped the whole thing up. Yeah.